Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. In today's video, I have latest updates concerning the next coach of the Black Stars and also updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players live here on Sports Corner GH. Now, when Coach Chris Hilton was sacked, ex-players were linked to the job of the next coach of the Black Stars, players such as Michael Leeson and Nye Kenston. In today's video, we are going to take a look at their response as to whether they want to take the job or not. We are also going to talk about Osman Bukari, two clubs have placed in a bid to sign Osman Bukhari. What happened next? We are going to talk about that live on Sports Corner GH and also talk about the latest concerning Kama Odin Suleimana amongst many others live here. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe if you have already subscribed to me. Thank you very much and may God richly bless you. Today is Tuesday and on Tuesday we give shout out. So guys, if your name is on the shout out list, and say a very big thank you to you. Please continue to support Sports Corner GH. But if your name is not here, don't worry, don't be offended. Comment under this video and I'm going to bring up your name in the next shout out list. We do live here on Sports Corner G. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and talk about the latest updates concerning the next coach of the Black Stars. Now, when coach Chris Witten was sacked, asking the coach of the Black Stars after a poor performance at the AFCON 2023, most Ghanaians came into an agreement that the Black Stars should be handled by ex-players such as Asam Wajan, Lyle Kingston, Michael Lisson, Sula Ali Muntari, Steven Napier, now, Laya Kingston at Graphic Sports was asked this question. Do you want the job as the next coach of the Black Stars? And this was his response. He says that, of course, I will accept and do it easy. I know the level at which I am now. And this is coming from Laya Kingston. He says that if the job is given to him, he's going to accept it. But currently, what is the level of Laya Kingston? He's currently the assistant coach of the Black Starlet. He has also had a coaching, you know, sting with Nordland and also right to dream. So we hope that the GFE makes the right choice. Not only that, he was asked that if he had the chance to advise the GFE as to who should be the next coach, what advice would that be? And this is what like his thing said to Graphic Sports. He says that the next coach must prepare a presentation for Ghanaians to know what he's bringing on board than to say that this coach is my friend or the person that recommended this coach is my friend so let's give him the job and this is coming from like he says that the next coach of the black stars should come and tell Ghanaians do a presentation what is bringing on board what is the plan not that you come and say that this coach there is my friend so let's give him the job no this is coming from like and i support this hundred percent but guys let me know your thoughts and also you know you're hard to think about like instant response to as to whether he wants to be the coach of the black stars or not he says of course he will accept and do it easy and this is coming from like instant now moving away from that michael Lesson has also been linked to the coaching job and michael Lesson has been very quiet on this black star issue whether they perform work or not he doesn't even say a word and this is coming from you know a sports journalist on twitter um, his name is Lula De Adewi, and he says that um, he made a tweet in 20, uh, 2023, and he says that he was on his way going somewhere. He met Michael Nissen, and he popped that question, and Michael Nissen responded. We are going to look at that, and the tweet is on your screen. I'm going to read it out. He says that, on my way to Naples, had a long layover in Denmark, where I met a legend of the game, Michael Nissen. He's now a coach at FC Nordland in the Danish Super League. He currently got his UEFA A and UEFA Elite Youth Coach license. Future Black Star Coach, when I asked, he said not interested. And this is coming from someone who had a very quick chat with Michael Eason whilst he was traveling doing his own business. And he says that he met Michael Eason and asked Michael Eason, Michael Eason, I went, well, I'm looking at the way you are coaching Nordjylland and everything, looking at the, you know, the license you currently have. Do you fancy the next coach of the Black Stars? Or do you fancy to be the next coach of the Black Stars? Michael Nissen responded, not interested. Now, this tweet was tweeted in 2023. It is not a current tweet. As to whether Michael Nissen will change his mind or not, that is yet to, to, to be known. But currently, Michael Nissen has already made his decision a long time that as for Black Star coaching job, dear, he doesn't want it. So guys, that is the latest update. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. I'm going to term this as a rumor because it is someone narrating his, you know, uh, interaction with my Canadian as to whether this is true or not. We are yet to know. If the coach is given to, if the coaching job is given to my Canadian and he rejects, fine. 
then we know that this trait is actually accurate. But currently, I'm going to term this as a rumor. So, guys, that is the latest update. Now, moving away from that, GFA finally wants to meet the press. You see, they want to meet the press to address how things went at the AFCO 2023 and also the way forward. And this will be held tomorrow, 7th of February, 9 a.m. at the Lancaster Hotel, Kumasi. And I don't have a problem with this. My only problem with this is that, see, when the Black Stars were going to play this Afcon, and now everything behind closed doors, they don't want anybody to be there. Behind closed doors, they are doing tactical training and things. Even when Black Stars failed to you know, win their matches, you want to talk to them, they are, they are not even allowing No. Now that you are going to feel, you want to talk to the press. For what? About what? About, about what? But again, with that, with that self, I want to talk. I want to just ask one simple question. One, one simple. Me, if they are going to, probably I won't be there because I feel like it's too close. But I, I believe that one question I want to know, who even approved that budget? That 8.5 million. I really want to know who, who sat down, did that, and I, who, who I know approved that budget? I want to know, like, I mean, someone should answer that question. Who approved that budget? Who approved it? That 8.5 million dollars. Who approved it? That is my only question I want to know. But like, honestly, me to the press, the, the journalists will go there and well, do their own thing. And I'll be interested in it. We'll make sure to bring you reports on that live here on Sports Corner GH. And I'm moving away from that. Let's talk about some latest concerning Black Star players. What's Man Bukari? Yes, he is a man of interest. Two clubs have already submitted a bid for Osman Bukari. Now, these two clubs are in the MLS side. NA Galaxy and also Chicago Fire. Now, this NA Galaxy team are really interested in Ghanaian players. Now, let's not forget Osman Bukhari is on top form for club side. And also, when it comes to Ghana, definitely it's on top form. But after all, no things didn't go his way. But still, normally he's on top form. Now, what we heard that these two clubs submitted a bid of 10 million euros each to West Star Belgrade. And West Star Belgrade rejected immediately. They said that Osman Bukhari is not for sale. Looking at where the league is currently, it is an eight crucial stages and they need Osman Bukhari in their team. Now, the only way, the only way they are going to let Osman Bukhari leave Red Star Belgrade is if there is a replacement for Osman Bukhari. If they find Osman Bukhari's replacement, that's the only way they are going to let him go. But currently, he's not for still. That's the thing. They want him to the end of the season. Looking at how crucial the league is now currently they want him to the end of the season so rest our Belgrade have rejected bids from la galaxy and also chicago fire to sign Osman and bukhari and they provided a bid of 10 million euros each both rejected so guys that is the latest update concerning Osman bukhari now moving away from that let's talk about kamadi Sulemana. now kamadi Sulemana has been off with injury for a very long period he has not played games for southampton for a very very long period now the good news is that he's back and the coach of Southampton says that he is ready for selection. In fact, today Southampton has a game against Watford in the championship. And the coach of Southampton says that see, Kamadi Sulemana is available for selection. And we might see him get some few game time in that game against Watford. So guys, please we'll make sure to bring you updates on that once Kamadi Sulemana makes no an appearance for Southampton after a very long injury break. And this is very good news concerning Kamaudi Sulemana. Good news for Ghana too, because Kamaudi Sulemana is back. So guys, that is the latest update I have for you concerning the GFA, the next Black Star coach, and also latest on Black Star players. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we'll go five.